Hello and welcome back to the Manga Club, the club where we talk about manga that we've been recently reading, enjoying, let me know what you've been recently reading and enjoying, and if you've read what I'm about to talk about, let me in the comments what you thought about it. Every single volume I read of Berserk, I get more and more hooked. Like, I honestly, after volume two, I was so sold on the story. I thought, this is incredible. Volume three shocked me in a whole completely different way. I am genuinely, the more I read, the more I fall in love with this story. It is... I grew up watching Game of Thrones, I've recently been watching stuff like Vinland Saga and, and just this, oh, it's it's just the, like the pinnacle of all of it combined. I love this story so much and I'm only three volumes in out of 13 of the deluxe ones, like, oh my god. Genuinely, I, I, I started this volume and it was off to a little bit of a slow start, but, but the character moments in this, the devastation in this, it went a completely different way that I did not think it was going to go at all. It, it just genuinely diverted all my expectations of the story. Volume three is brilliant for developing this beautiful relationship between Guts and Casca. Like, oh my God, I, I, I knew there was sort of hints of it in sort of the, the volume two and stuff like that. There was like the hatred, between them and the rivalry, but it slowly was sort of seeping into being uh, at least working together. But this, the development between them in this and how it ends is just such a lovely, lovely way to just see their characters just grow and change and come together. Uh, it's actually nice to see Guts open up. Like, I read volume one and I was like, he is just a shut off killer. That is all he is, like nothing more. And then volume two, I was like, okay, we get the context of him growing up and the, the scars and torture and torment that he goes through in his really early years and, and how he comes to be who he is. And I was like, okay, I get him. But to see him actually talk about the trauma that he's been through and, and go through it with Casca and open up a little bit more and actually revisit what has done him so wrong in his life. That was honestly like, <sighs> I love Guts. I love him so much. I didn't at first. In the first volume, I was like, mm, okay. Now, with the context of this, oh my God. So many moments in volume three that I can't actually, like, get my head around. From Guts and Griffith fighting and just the absolute devastation of what follows like Griffith going off the rails going and sleeping with the princess to then the king finding out and just the, the disgusting nature of his relationship with his daughter and then just everything going wrong all the hawks being essentially sentenced to death and and then the fallout of that seeing years go by and and we've got guts who has now just been on his own for a year but he comes ag ag across the hawks and then the relationship with casca that blooms out of that it was just Honestly, the first sort of half of this, so I was like, okay, where's this going? We're just doing some some massive scale battles. This is really cool. I'm loving this, but I want some more character context. And oh boy, did I get some more character context. This, ah, this story. I feel it's going to break me. Honestly, like, I love the relationship now of Guts and Casca. And I, I can see it going nowhere other than wrong, to be honest. Um, I'm, I'm worried and I'm scared. So... <laughs> I'm, I can't wait to read Berserk Volume 4, but I also i am scared for what's, what, what it holds for me. But anyway, if you've read Berserk Volume 3, let me know what you thought, and I will see you next time on The Manga Club.